Hey gang, this video is about a little experiment I've been doing with my home screen using just Siri shortcuts to replace applications. I got the idea from CGP Grey at the end of this week's Cortex episode where he had been doing something similar. So this is what I made. Now if you look at this screen, there's no applications on it. All of these are Siri shortcuts, but some of them are just dumb shortcuts that just launch applications. For instance, the communications, the little telephone at the top right corner. If I tap on that, it goes into Siri shortcuts and launches this menu where I can open mail, messages, Slack. These are all just applications that will open up when I tap on them. This is in effect just a launcher. In fact, I'm gonna cancel this and you can see here's the Siri shortcut, choose from menu. And then underneath it, there's just a bunch of options, mail, open app, mail, messages, open app, messages. So these are just a way to consolidate a bunch of applications into one icon takes a little extra step, has to jump over to Siri shortcuts every time you launch it, see how that happens. But it's really convenient. I kind of like the way it's working. Others are a combination of app launchers and Siri shortcut launchers, like this phone one, I'm sorry, this photo one. So if I tap on it, you can see I can open the Camera Plus app. Interestingly, the Apple Photos app will not um, allow itself to be launched via Siri shortcut. And then uh, I can, but then a bunch of these are also just Siri shortcuts themselves, like resizing images, where was this taken? A bunch of these were ones that I covered in the Siri shortcut field guide. So I can launch those Siri shortcuts from there. I'm really excited about the one I did and I'm, I'm working on. This is all a work in progress. I call this kind of the OmniFocus launcher. Um, it's the arrows with the purple background. I tap on that. And I've got this list of places I can go. Most of these are specific perspectives in OmniFocus using Siri shortcut links. Some of them are URL links, like the review and um, the project. Some of these you have to have a URL to get to. This scrolls down. And then at the bottom is templates, and I covered these in the OmniFocus field guide. Um, I made this massive list of templates, but now to get to them, I just tap on that, and then it runs another shortcut that has a menu of templates I can choose from, and that links another shortcut. So if I tap Max Sparky, then I get a list of all the various templates I can make related to Max Sparky. It's kind of fun having this stuff completely accessible from your home screen. Um, and I've been able to, like I said, consolidate. I, I'm gonna have a few more icons, but this is gonna stay pretty, pretty low for me. Audio is another simple one. It just gives me the podcast player, the music player, Audible. Uh, my thunderstorm application. I just started working on this health related one and it can run the activity app, headspace, food tracking. And then the next one is start walk and that will launch a timer in the toggle timer and then open up the podcast app when I'm taking a walk. I'm early days in this, this little process, but I'm really enjoying it. I don't know if this is going to be my home screen forever, but I like the idea of it. Uh, one more I'll share with you is this, input this capture button on the in the dock. If I tap that, I can add an OmniFocus inbox item. I can go to drafts and start typing. I can dictate in drafts. I can use drag and dictate, or I can create a new sheet in Ulysses. So the whole idea for me with this is putting context of tasks together so I can get at them very easily with, with one icon. And when I say context, I don't just mean classes of applications together like I did with the audio stuff. I'm also thinking in work modes, like I have two here. One is for Max Sparky and one is for legal, but the Max Sparky one is an example. It takes me to specific places related to doing Max Sparky work, like inbox is the email inbox in the mail application for Max Sparky. I just get straight to that inbox if I wanna work on that. Um, action and planning are two specific perspectives in OmniFocus that I use to work on Max Sparky stuff. A post idea opens up a OmniFocus input that has all the tags attached and everything I need to just type in an idea for a post on the blog and it saves it to exactly the right place. MPU show prep uh, does, opens up a Google Doc to where I do the preparation for the show notes for Mac Power users and it sets a timer saying that I'm working on Mac Power users. And I do the same thing for automators and free agents and blog opens up the Squarespace blogging app if I need to go in there. I'm not done with these. Like I said, this is all work in progress. I've only been doing this a few days now. But you can see how combining different types of work related to a similar task in one icon can be really powerful. 
Now, if you don't like this, this look on your screen, the other thing you could do is you can put this in your widget menu and see here they all are in the series shortcuts widget. And in some ways this is even more efficient or looks better. When you tap on one of the items, it just opens up the menu right in the widgets. So you don't have that weird step where it jumps over to the Siri shortcuts app. Um, I kind of like that too. I haven't decided, maybe I'll just keep them over here and the um, widget sidebar, and then I'll put a normal home screen on my phone. I'm still playing with this, but I thought it was worth sharing. I'm going to update content in the OmniFocus field guide and the Siri shortcuts field guide for this stuff once I figure out the best way to recommend it and how to build it. But I thought I'd share it for today.